What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I'd like to present you guys with my Odin Sphere Leafer Seer PS4 review. I bought this game the day that it was actually released. I spent many many hours playing it and enjoying this world and the characters and I'm honored and privileged to bring you guys my review. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. Odin Sphere was originally released on the PS2 as an exclusive in 2007. The game garnered high praise from gamers and critics with its beautiful hand-drawn art style, ahead of its time crafting and progression system, intertwining story with extremely rewarding side-scrolling hack-and-slash action. Odin's Fear was and still is one of my most beloved PS2 titles. It represented truly high ambitions and showed me that games of this magnitude were possible on 6th generation hardware and that the developer Vanillaware was ahead of their time when it came to crafting equally impressive gameplay, story, characters, and worlds. Over the years, Vanillaware has continued to hone its skills in crafting games in the style of Odin Sphere. Games like Muramasa the Demon Blade, Muramasa Rebirth on the PlayStation Vita, and Dragon's Crown were all highly praised by fans and critics alike. But it's always a good thing to revisit your roots, and I was ecstatic when I heard that Vanillaware was doing an HD remaster of the original Odin Sphere with added bonuses and features. And with that, here's my review of Odin Sphere Lethal Seer on PS4. As always, this review will cover story, gameplay, graphics, and sound. Story The story in Odin Sphere encompasses five fairy tale books based on Norse mythology and are truly the heart of the game. You start the game as Gwendolyn, a Valkyrie and royal daughter of the demon lord Odin, who is focused on revenge and living up to the expectations of her father. Then there's Cornelius, the prince of Titania, who loves one that is supposedly unworthy of royalty and is willing to fight through heaven and hell. For his true love. Cornelius through dark magic becomes cursed and soon sees the world through the eyes of the often looked down on people, the Puka. There is Princess Mercedes of Ringfold, a fairy who is thrust into a daunting situation where she must focus and assert her authority in order to save her people and the crown. This is made even more difficult by her fear of being a leader and the loss of her mentor. There is also the great Shadow Knight Oswald, a cursed knight who wields the power of darkness and will do anything he can to save his love and his lost soul. And finally, Princess Velvet, a twin and outcast from the ruined city of Valentine, who is looking for a way to bring balance to all the kingdoms and will stop at nothing to keep the corrupt from destroying innocent lands. Each tale is presented by a book that you pick up and you read in a small library. You open the book and that particular hero's story begins. The five books you play through are amazing and they allow the gamer to see things through different eyes and the perspectives of those who you may think are your enemies. The writing is amazing and allows you to see everyone's point of view and it will bridge gaps in other players' stories. Meaning, playing through one character's story may leave you with questions, while playing through with another character will give you the answers you seek. Each character story arc has six chapters, each with multiple boss battles and an epilogue that wraps up their particular portion of the story. Honestly, I loved every single tale, and the characters are so different that I almost felt like I was playing five different games, and to me, that's incredible. Gameplay While the story in Odin Sphere is awesome, it is actually trumped by the gameplay. Everything that made the original stand out and fresh for its time returns, but it's been totally overhauled. There are now new enemies, moves, special attacks, and control options. This game truly allows you to play exactly how you want to by being able to actually map specific moves to individually specify control motions, making each player's experience truly unique to that person. Not only is there tons of hack and slash combat that you can chain together in hundreds of hits, there is even a character that doesn't use the hack and slash style at all, which kept me engaged and eager to learn to fight in a whole new way. Odin Spear's alchemy system returns, and like always, it's the cornerstone of the gameplay. You can use items you find in the world in tons of different ways. If you find a seed on the ground, you can plant it and then nourish the seed with the natural energy stored in your weapon called Fozons. Once the fruit grows, you can eat it for EXP or combine it with other ingredients to create amazing things. Things like tornadoes, volcanoes, poisons, cures, and more. This unique alchemy system is truly deep and there is no way to explain in a review just how many things you can create. Odin Spear also sports deep RPG mechanics as you can equip specific gear you find throughout the world 
which can add attack strength, defense boosts, and buffs that can make you resistant to status effects and increase things like your speed. These systems will take a lifetime to master, but learning them while you play is a gift that keeps on giving. You will also find various merchants along your journey who can sell you gear, food, and spells, as well as provide you with ample free storage for your many wares. Another great part of Odin Sphere is its unique leveling system. You can level up by gaining EXP from killing foes or by eating many different foods available in the game. The food can be grown by you or found in the world, and even combined to create amazingly tasty and EXP filled recipes. In every save area you can summon a traveling chef named Mori. This little guy can cook anything, and depending on what recipes you've acquired in the world and what items you actually have on you at the time, he will cook these recipes for you. Mari is a great way to level up your characters, and there are so many recipes that it's virtually impossible to not have ingredients needed to chow down and level up every time you see him. The game also sports upgradable cipher skills which add a whole new level to the gameplay. These skills are unique to each character and offer tons of variety. Everything from increasing your main weapon to new ammunition, to new fire spells, cloning yourself to distract enemies, creating ice spells, or summoning imps that attack enemies or will protect you. There are tons of these upgrades in the game that you will unlock as you progress through the story. There are also stat upgrades that are unique to each character as well. Things like 10% more attack power when you hit an enemy from behind, or taking less damage in the air, or increased movement speed are all here making Odin Spear a game that's bursting at the seams with incredible gaming content. Graphics One of the biggest standouts of Odin Spear has always been the graphics and now the game looks better than ever thanks to the steady 60 frames per second which is leagues better than the chugging frame rate of the original PlayStation 2 Classic. Everything from the character models to the enemies look fantastic, all hand-drawn and now in stunning 1080p resolution with new fresh animations to boot. The backgrounds look amazing as well, with ever so slightly animated grass and bushes that make the world feel breathing and alive. The bosses look incredible too. They're all hand-drawn with big bright colors and mighty enough to fill the screen. Particle effects are constantly exploding all around you in this game and they look stunning. When it comes to visuals, Odin Sphere does not disappoint. Sound The music and voice work in Odin Sphere is phenomenal. Everything from the ambient music that captures the essence of the fairy tale to the exceptional voice work which is presented in both English and Japanese. Do you think that girl can fulfill her duties as queen in these times of strife? Her cousin Melvin is quite dependable. He ought to take her place. The soundtrack perfectly captures the tone of the experience like the deep tonal lows before a high level boss fight, or the enchanting tracks in places like the Fairy Kingdom. While some tracks feel repetitive, like the booming celebratory track that plays every time you clear an area or get an item box, it all feels well rounded and works out in the end. Final Thoughts Odin Spear is an awesome game with tons to do. There are many stories to explore, characters to love and hate, and gameplay that is as unique as any side scroller could ever hope to be. The added bonus of a robust alchemy system, upgrades and crafting make it even more of an attractive game to own. The thing that I perhaps forgot from my previous playthrough years ago was just how much game is actually in this package. At just 3.5 gigs in size, you wouldn't expect there to be very much game here. But when you look at my playthrough of around the 40 hour mark, it becomes very clear that there is a ton to experience in this game. When you add the newly added modes like extra new game mode, which allows you to start a fresh game with all your old equipment and skills and take on super strong enemies, or the hell difficulty which keeps your HP at 200 throughout, testing your ability to defend yourself, or the epic boss rush mode that pits you against boss after boss for 30 rounds, then there is an extreme value in this package. One drawback that I do have is that while this game is a PlayStation exclusive, it isn't cross-buy, meaning I'd have to rebuy the game to enjoy it on the go with my PlayStation Vita. This is honestly a crime. But other than that one drawback, I must say that Odin Sphere Leithrasir is a must play game to any RPG lover or anyone who enjoys action games or side scrolling games, and quite simply anyone who owns a system to play it on. Odin Sphere is a true classic, and now it can shine as a new classic to a whole new generation of gamers as a prettier and meatier version of the PlayStation 2 masterpiece. Odin Sphere Leithrasir is an incredible game and a must-play PlayStation experience.
I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you've not tried this game, I implore you to give it a shot. Uh, they don't make games like this anymore. That's why this is a remaster, and it's truly an incredible game. I had an absolute blast playing it, and I hope you guys do too. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.